Hello everyone, welcome back to the Photon Programming Tutorial. Today's video is about the functions and subroutine in a Photon Programming language. You have to deal with the functions in almost all programming languages. So it's the most important aspect of any programming language. Okay, first let's understand why we need a function. Suppose you wrote a piece of a code and there comes a situation where you have to rewrite that code again and again. Such situation can be resolved by using function. Function helps to avoid the repetition of a code or we can say it helps in the reuse of the previously written course. Okay. So let's learn its uses in a better way. Okay. Suppose you wrote a code to find the factorial of any number. You might have four, five lines or six lines. It depends upon your code. Okay. So that's your code to find the factorial of any number. Now here comes a situation to calculate the permutation. Okay. Uh, you might know about the permutation. If you don't know, then it doesn't matter. It's just one formula. Okay. And here this n factorial, n minus r factorial, r factorial, same factorial is used three times. Now, if you write in a simple way, then you need to write that factorial code code about three times. Then only you can calculate this expression. So the code becomes lengthy. So to avoid that function can be used. So for that, what we will do is we will wrap those previously written code of a factorial inside a function. Now this factorial becomes a function. Okay. And in the formula, so there are three functions. So we will just call that function using a one line. Okay. Now instead of writing four or five lines of factorial, we just call that function. So we call about three times and we can calculate this expression in a few lines of a code. That's the main use of function. Now let's learn how to write a function. Okay. And one more thing. So function is not new for us. As we have already dealt with some intrinsic function like size, kind, more. Okay. In the size function, we have to pass the one argument as a array name. In the kind function, we pass the data type. And in the mode function, we have to pass two arguments. So these are the intrinsic function which are already defined in a Photon programming language. Now we just need to call these functions and it works. Now we are going to create function for ourselves. So how to write a function? Uh, let's learn. Let's use a simple example, program example and program. So this program and end program, this is our main program where we will call the function, but we don't define function inside our main program. So we will create a function outside of the program. Okay. Here we have to create a function. Okay. And while creating a function, you have to give the data type to the function, whether that is integer, real, complex. Okay. So I will say integer. Okay. And you have to write the function. Now I have to give the name of the function. You can give any name. I will say total. So total is the function and we have to give the parentheses. Okay. You must write parentheses while creating a function. Okay. In the inside the parentheses, you might want to give argument or sometimes there can be no argument as well, but parenthesis is required. Okay. And like the end program end function as well. Okay. So this is our function. Okay. And this is our main program. And we are going to call that function inside our program. So that's why the function works. Okay. Now, okay. And function is like uh, our main program. So all the variable inside the function should be declared inside the function. So I am going to use two integer a and b and I am going to take out the sum of those integers. So I'll give the a value 4 okay, and 4 and b value 6. Now I'm going to add a and b. Okay. And the most important thing in the function is function always evaluates the value functional value. Okay. Whenever you call the function, it gives the output in a value. So we have to provide the expression inside the function. And whenever we call that function, the expression is calculated and the expression should always be equated to the function name. So what is the function name here? Total. So there must be one total expression. Okay. So whatever the function name is, 
same function name should be provided for the expression that is the most important part so total is the function name so we are going to provide expression for the total so in the total i am going to say a plus b okay now we don't need to write any print function so function is separate program used for calculation only so what it does is it is a and b a and b value given and a plus b is calculated and it is stored in the total now whenever we call this function total here we get the value of a plus b that's why it works okay okay and in the program we, as we know we have to write implicit non and the another important part is whatever the function name is defined that should be declared in our main program okay so i have to say integer because our function is integer data type and we have to say total okay okay now we want to call that function so for the function calling we must write the parenthesis now let's run it so we got 10 okay so what happens here is we said print total and parenthesis so whenever parenthesis is given now it will recognize this total is a function and it will see that total function so total function is here and inside the total function it sorts the expression for the total so total is here and total is a plus b so a is 4 b is 6 so it evaluates the total and it print out the total or you can save that total in another variable name so i will create another variable answer okay and i will say answer is the total so this is the calling of the function okay so total parenthesis means total function is called and that value is stored in the answer now what we need to do is we need to print the answer we don't need to write the brackets sign here because answer is not a function so if we run that yes so we got the 10 answer okay so this is simple example where we don't give any argument inside the total now i want to give the argument so i will not give the value of a and b here okay i will provide a, a and b value as an argument so now total has two arguments a and b and that a and b is defined here okay and the expression for the total is given as a plus b now while calling the function since there are two arguments a and b you must provide those arguments here okay now i want 4 and 6 to be provided as an argument so this is the calling of a function total now a will be 4 b will be 6 and that these two will be added so if we run that so we got 10 similar answer so this is the code for the total of a and b now you can reuse this function code again and again just by calling the function so here we call the total function now i want to add with another total function one and two okay not one that i want to subtract with another total function five and ten okay let's run that so it is it gives minus two okay so this gives ten this gives three 10 plus 3 is 13 and this gives 15 13 minus 15 is minus 2 so see here once we write the code for the total function then we can use that total just by calling the function uh, there are few things you have to remember okay suppose you give total a and b there should be expression for the total as i already told you now what happens if you give another expression for the total as well now i want to say a multiplied b okay you give two expression for the function name now the photon programming language use the most recent expression so if we run that so it gives minus 24 obviously by calculating a multiply b here so only give one expression and one more thing you can't use the function name uh, in the right hand side of the expression you can write the function name on the right hand side of the expression that gives the error okay these are the things you have to remember while writing a function now we, we will calculate this permutation part 
using the function okay first we wrap that factorial code in the function and we will just call the function to calculate this permutation and uh, this time i'm going to give uh, real because uh, while division here uh, integer di divided by integer gives only the integer but we might get the answer in a points also in a decimal place also so let's give real data type okay real function and i will say fact okay and it has just one argument x okay and the argument should be defined inside the function okay so uh, x should be an integer as a factorial of uh, 5 factorial of 6 because we have to give the integer value okay x now factorial always give integer value so i will declare another integer variable as a answer okay and uh, first uh, calculating to calculate the factorial we have to give the initial value one okay then i have to loop uh, so loop variable should be defined so i will say i okay do i is equals to one two i will go up to x okay and and do okay and here i have to update the variable with answer multiply i so every times i loop through one to x same number is multiplied and is stored in the answer this way factorial works okay so and at last there should be the expression with the function name so function name is fact so there should be an expression with the fact and i will say fact is the answer okay so this is the code for calculating the factorial now we just have to call factorial in the program we have to declare the function name so function name function name is fact with the real data type so i have to say real is the fact okay now i just have to call the function so i will say print and i will call the fact function with the argument x x value should be a integer as we have defined here i want to create the factorial of 5 so factorial of 5 is 120 okay so we uh, got the factorial of 5 now let's calculate the permutation okay so for the permutation okay we have to call the factorial three times first is the factorial of n okay so i will say n okay and that n and r variable should be defined in the program because we are using those variable in the program so i will say integer these are the integer n and r okay and we have to give the value of n and r i will give it later so factorial of n divided by i will skip bracket factorial of first one is n minus r okay multiply factorial of r so this is the formula i wrote in a i wrote as a expression so factorial n n factorial divided by n minus r factorial multiply r factorial okay now n and r value should be given let's give let's ask the user of for the n and r value so i will say print enter the value of n and r okay and i have to read the value of n and r from the user so n and r okay so so what happens is it asks the value of n and r and this n and r are the variables so we have defined the variable n and r and this fact is the function and we have defined the variable fact okay uh, so n and r is asked and this is the calling of the function uh, since bracket and argument is given as a n okay so what is the n n value suppose we entered 5 so it it acts it call the fact 5 so 5 is passed as a ax okay and it evaluates do i equals to 1 to 5 and it evaluates the factorial of a 5 so let's say n is 5 r is 2 permutation is 10 so in this way it works you can rerun the program I will give 10 okay and I'll give 7 so it is 120 you can check by calculating it will give the same answer so this is all about the function in a photon programming language now let's revise this there are a few notes which we must remember while writing a function so this is our main program where we will call the function so this is the calling of a function 
and this is the program for the writing of function while writing a function you have to declare the data type of the function and you have to give the name of the function with the argument or without argument but parenthesis is required okay the important code inside the function is the expression for the functional calculation so function is the function name is fact so there must be one expression for the fact and whenever we call this fact function only that expression is calculated that is the most important part and whatever the function name is that should be declared in the main program name and others are same because whatever the variable we use that variable should be defined within that program x is a variable used in the function so x should be defined in the function okay n and r are the variable used in the main program so that should be declared in the main program so these are like a two separate program but this program can be called in the main program for the calculations again and again so this much for this video if you have any questions related to the function you can write down in the comment section below and the next video will be about the subroutine uh, another procedure in the photon programming language so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe